So now we're going to talk about sex and the human experience in correlation with the evil eye. Now that we know the evil eye is conditioning to the illusion and that is fear, we have to look at the conditioning of what sex has become, which is simply an act of penetration. There is no pleasure. And that penetration has been even degraded into literally soul swapping, soul transference, energy. It's it's a generator, manipulator of energy siphoning. Whether it's feminine to masculine, masculine to feminine, heterosexually or homosexually, whichever sexually it's going on, this is a way of siphoning energy the quickest. And whether people are aware of it, this is what is going on. And because it has become so lackluster, we are being exposed to the truth that people are simply bodies to be used and we are here to be used we are here to be used as in we all have a greater purpose to serve the divine in whichever way we were contracted to come here and work we're all working we're all working for this greater purpose which is the rise of unconditional love and the fall of all doomed Therein, this is why they do things like censor my page and censor my some of my videos because when someone is professing about unconditional love, that is completely against the game. And the game is about diminishing and putting down and pressuring and atomizing unconditional love as much as possible till it's so dispersed it cannot be put back together in any way but as we see that's not the case because people are lacking and they want to fulfill that lack so the ways that we've been taught to fulfill that lack is from a fear-based mentality and that fear-based mentality means seeking and chasing intimacy in people, places, and things that do not require the commitment that we actually need because our parents or our caretakers, or maybe we didn't have either, were unable to fulfill that. That is no excuse, but that is just the truth. So what is sex? (laughs) We need to have this conversation because majority of people are extremely elementary in their thinking. It's not about penetration. It's about an energetic enmeshing that becomes an equal exchange that reflects itself in the visible universe. It is infinity and beyond. It is beautiful. I can take it romantic because that's the type of person I am. I am a romantic, hopeful. That's the drive of why I'm here. Yet I want to keep it as practical as possible because people need to hear how transactional a beautiful act is, regardless of whether you like it or not. There's some sort of transaction going on And it doesn't matter how fucking rich in character you are. You're most likely sleeping with someone who is very lacking in character. And the rich in character has enough to give. So they will fill up the cup of that person lacking. And what that lust is, is not because you're hot and sexy in a physical way. It's a lust for your spirit. It's a lust for your soul. So it has become that everybody is a succubus or an incubus. But what type of succubus or incubus are you? Are you one that transmutates the energies into more wealth and abundance for you and your friends and family? Or are you the other who takes the energy and drains it in whatever selfish way that 
you personally believe you need to do it. And that's really what the evil is. Evil is taking what is available to everybody and manipulating it in ways that only serve your mal-intended self-centered purposes despite the fact that you have yourself friends and family and whatever else you care about in the world to participate in taking care of this is why people long for sex that can only exist when you're equally yoked with your partner And the ways to be equally yoked, you have to go onto my page and see. But the first and foremost way is this. You have to respect yourself by setting your self-intention straight. It's always going to start with you. You're in that sexual position with that person because it's about you. You want to get off. You want to feel good. That other person has other intentions and they could be the same as yours, but most of the time they're not. How do you know that? By developing the skill of intuition. I experience situations with people every day that want to be sexual with me. And I can tell what I'm getting into just by talking to that person. And I know how far things will go just by talking to that person. And I know that because of my intuition. And because I know that I respect the act that is SEX. And once we respect it, we'll we'll be able to recognize and see it from a place where we're not just bodies. We're not just toys to be used. We're beings who are sentient, who feel, who all deserve to be loved unconditionally from the levels that we're at so that we can all grow together. I present a new feminine to men, which is why it's so earth-shattering and scary when I show my tentacles. The pretty princess has tentacles? Yes, I do. And that's different. Because women have been conditioned to be a very nonchalant, half-assed version of ourselves to appease their needs and vice versa. Men can be princes with claws. But that attracts us to them, right? (laughs) So you see... Once we wash away all this evil eye, we're not just wearing evil eye just because it's cute, just because it's protection. No, real protection comes when you have the facts, the science behind it. So take the science and really amplify the strength of the evil eye so that the illusion wipes away for yourself and therein everybody else. <laughs>